Okay, in this video, we're gonna solve this problem right here. And so let's begin. So what I like to do first is just plug in. If I plug in a zero here and a zero here, what I get is zero times and zero to the right. So you're right here on the graph. So it shoots all the way down to negative infinity. Now, this is a red flag that you have to approach this problem differently. You have to think about this in a different way. In addition, we can't even use L'Hopital's right now because it's saying x times ln x. So what we could do is rewrite our problem in a different way so we can use L'Hopital's rule. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 to the right. Instead of writing it like this, we could say we have ln parentheses x divided by 1 over x. And this form right here is equivalent to this form. Because we're not dividing by x, we're dividing by 1 over x, which will match with this form. And so now we can plug in. So we have 0 to the right. So all the way down, you get negative infinity divided by. We have 1 divided by 0 to the right. That's what this form is saying right here. So what this is saying is 1 divided by a positive, very uh, small number, infinitesimally small number. And that's going to give you infinity. So because we have negative infinity over infinity, we're in a safe position to use L'Hopital's rule. So I'm going to put equal L'Hopital's rule. So limit as x approaches 0 to the right. So what we're going to do is take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So we can just say d for derivative of ln x divided by d of this piece, 1 over x. And 1 over x is the same as x raised to negative 1. That might be easier for you to see how we take the derivative. And so let's do it. So again, we're doing L'Hopital's rule, so we have x is approaching 0 to the right, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and the derivative of x raised to negative 1 would give us negative x raised to negative 2, close parentheses. At this point, we can rewrite what we have to make it like more obvious, so the limit as x approaches 0 to the right, and what we have is 1 over x divided by, and negative x raised to negative 2 is the same as negative 1 divided by x squared. And so we'll clean up our fractions. I'm just putting a parentheses around them. And so now we can rewrite again. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 to the right. And we have 1 divided by x. So 1 divided by x times, we can flip this. And we can say we have negative x squared divided by 1. And again, this and this is equivalent. So this x would cancel with this piece. And what we have left is the limit as x approaches 0 to the right for negative x. And so finally, what we can do is replace x with 0, and our final answer is 0. And that's all we need to do for this problem.